Hi, very good morning to everyone. This is Jagdish, Assistant Professor of EC Department, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today, we are going to discuss about the Ohm's law. How the Ohm's law is being used in uh, many electrical uh, circuits, and how we are finding out the parameters like voltage, current, power, etc. Uh, this Ohm's law we are going to discuss uh, in the case of uh, design thinking based approach. Um, let's get into the topic. So, uh, before going to see the Ohm's law, the formula and calculation and everything, what is the need of the Ohm's law? So, the Ohm's law first thing, understanding the electrical circuits. Ohm's law provides a uh, foundational understanding of how voltage, current and resistance are related in electrical circuit. This understanding is essential for designing, analyzing and troubleshooting electrical systems. Predicting behavior. Ohm's law allows engineers and scientists to predict uh, how changes in voltage, current or resistance will affect the behavior of electrical circuit. This uh, predictive capability is crucial for design circuits to meet specific uh, requirements, performance requirements. And troubleshooting. When an electrical circuit malfunction, Ohm's law uh, can be used to diagnose the problem uh, by measuring voltage, current, resistance at various points in the circuit. Engineers can identify where the issue lies and uh, take appropriate corrective actions. And uh, the next thing, designing an efficient system. So Ohm's law helps engineers design electrical systems that operate efficiently and safely. By understanding the relationship between voltage, current and resistance, engineers can optimize circuit designs to minimize power loss and maximum uh, perform performance. So, these are all the uh, needs for any electrical circuit is concerned. So, to, uh, I mean, to satisfy these needs, we are going for the Ohm's law. And uh, one more thing, the safety. Uh, safety is very, very important because we are dealing with the voltage, current, power, etc. So, the human safety and other safety is very, very important. Uh, so, this is also the one of the uh, need uh, for the Ohm's law. So, Understanding Ohm's law is essential for ensuring the safety for electrical systems and uh, personnel. By calculating the voltage, current, and resistance in a circuit, engineers can identify potential hazards and implement appropriate safety measures to mitigate risks. Overall, Ohm's law is indispensable for anyone working with electrical circuits from designing complex electronic devices to maintaining electrical infrastructure. Its principles form the foundation of modern electrical engineering and are essential for advancing technology and innovation in various fields. Uh, what is actually a Ohm's law? One of the most basic and important law of electric circuit is Ohm's law. It is, uh, I mean, invented by the uh, uh, scientist uh, Ohm. Uh, Ohm's law state that voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided all physical conditions and temperature is constant. So, this is the uh, definition for the Ohm's law. So, how we can represent in the case of formula means, we can see mathematically it can be represented by like this. So, there is V equal to IR. So, where V is a voltage and I is a current and R is a resistance. So, uh, at a constant temperature, uh, the voltage is directly proportional to the current that is represented in the mathematical format in here. So, from this V equal to IR, we can calculate, uh, we can determine uh, current, current means that is I equal to V by R and also resistance R equal to V by I. So, from the V equal to IR relationship, we can find out IR, not only IR, we can also find out the power value. So, power we know power equal to VI. So, this is in terms of voltage and current. In terms of current only, we we take we calculate p equal to i square into r and in case of voltage that is p equal to b square by r so for these equations are the origin for these equations this formula which is which comes from the ohm's law only that is p equal to i r so uh, the very good example uh, the prototype for the ohm's law is you can understand here there is a water tank is there so water tank is full of uh, water and the bottom of the water tank there is an outlet so the water tank full of water which is considered as a voltage that means the pressure being applied on the water is considered as a voltage and the outlet uh, outlet that is ampere that is current based on the hose diameter that's a pipe diameter that's out diameter the more uh, more or less amount of water will be uh, will be delivered outside so that is calculated by the ampere uh, that is actually considered as a current 
and uh, less resistance that is more current and more resistance will be less current so that that actually uh, compared with the sonology prototype and uh, for testing uh, testing the ohms law we can see uh, here we have uh, one voltage sources there in this uh, image so voltage is being varied by gradually and the resistance value also varied so according to the resistance and the, the voltage applied uh, we have uh, different variations of voltage and the uh, current getting varied so that variations uh, that will be aligned with the v equal to the other source the testing thank you